The Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network. The Frankie DeBusk Show. With head coach Frankie DeBusk. Brought to you in part by Greenville Federal Bank. Celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Green County. Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital. Whatever you do, do it well. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home owned and operated with locations in Morristown and Jonesboro. Green Coach Tours, celebrating their 65th anniversary. Grand Rental Station, anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, don't pass by, stop by, with three locations in Green County. Comcast Cable, call Comcast and ask about the Comcast Triple Play, TV, Internet, and phone. Comcast. And now, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Welcome into another edition of the Frankie DeBus Show. Tusculum versus the University of Finley, the Finley Oilers. A little history behind the city of Finley. They're known as the Flag City. So pre-World War I, you couldn't really get a flag anywhere in the United States unless it came from Finley, Ohio, whether it was a patch, whether it was a sticker, or whether it was just a regular flag. It was also known for oil, thus the name, the Finley Oilers. Well, Finley was started primarily Donnell Stadium by the Donnells. James Donnell had an idea. Let's make a stadium for all of our local schools, high schools, middle schools, and our college or university to be able to use on a regular basis. That idea became known in 1926. 1928, they dedicated the field, but James Donnell was not there as he had passed away. So his son, O.D. Donnell, who took over the Ohio Oil as the president, later known as Marathon, dedicated the stadium that said, the guy who thought of all of this isn't here, but it will be remembered forever. And 82 years later, they're still playing football at Donnell Stadium for the University of Finley. On to the university itself. They're a four-time national champion at the NAIA level, 79, 92, 95, and 97, jumping to Division II in 2000 and joining the GLIAC, where Grand Valley State is from, a national contender year in and year out. It would be the first ever meeting for the University of Finley against any South Atlantic Conference opponent. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brian Staten. Enough history. On to the history from this past Saturday. We're joined by Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk. A lot of unknowns on this trip, I believe, and the unknown was the University of Finley. We knew they could run, but I didn't think you'd be able to stop them. An impressive Saturday for your team to win 16-3. to Very, very proud of how our kids responded and played, Brian. We, uh, we took a long trip with a lot of new faces, uh, a lot of young players making the first journey. Not only was it their first away game, but it was also a long way away. You know, it took us about eight and a half hours to get there. Made a stop along the way that we'll discuss here in a minute that I thought our football team really handled very, very well, very mature, uh, very proud of, of how we responded playing in a strange environment, um, playing the team from the GLIAC, which is the first time in my career I've ever been that far north to play a football game. And just excited uh, how everyone really responded from the opening kickoff to the very end of the game. And obviously our, our defensive football team just played phenomenal. Uh, offensively, we had 510 yards in total offense and only scored one touchdown, which is unusual, but we had some miscues along the way, but uh, from top to bottom, I was very, very pleased with the effort in the, in the entire road trip, how everything was handled. The Tusculum Pioneers do win game two of the 2010 season as they go to 2-0, and and there's a little bit more history on that as well. And that we'll talk about when we come back, plus your first, second, third, and fourth quarter highlights when the Frankie DeBus Show continues. Greenville Federal Bank, proudly celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Green County, Greenville Federal Bank is banking made easy. Visit online at greenvillefederalbank.com. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital provides innovative, caring, compassionate service to their patients 
and the community through integrity and honesty in all that they do. Laughlin Memorial Hospital in Greenville since 1939. Whatever you do, do it well. Your Greenville Light and Power System, an electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBus Show. Tusculum versus the University of Finley in the first ever meeting between the two schools. Tusculum wins 16 to 3. Let's take a look at the first quarter highlights brought to you by Greenville Federal Bank. The Tusculum Pioneers on the road, the sixth longest road trip and a stop off in Cincinnati. And who's this guy? A uh, guy I used to coach years ago, Brian. Very, very proud of, of Terrell Owens and all he's accomplished. And just so thankful that the Cincinnati Bengals opened up their facility for our football team. And Terrell actually spoke to our bunch right there. You can see him uh, giving them a little uh, life lesson and talking about some of the things that, that I was able to do for him as he was growing up and coming through the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga where I coached him. And uh, just very honored that, that the Bengals would allow our, our whole football team to go through their facility, practice on their, at their stadium, uh, go in their locker room. Marvin Lewis, their head coach, actually spoke to our team, and he, he himself uh, set up the whole thing and, and uh, met us and uh, talked to us, and just a phenomenal trip. Chad Ochocinco was also in attendance, and T.O. signed autographs with everybody and also um, handed out a lot of gloves from his locker, I can <laughs> tell you that. Well, to the game, Finley, as you can tell, wearing the orange and the black, similar colors to the Tusculum Pioneers. They have the ball to start. They had a good kickoff return and a penalty. First down, the leading rusher last year, the, south, the, the freshman of the year in the GLIAC, uh, Williams, was really tied up. And right here, from the get-go, third down and long, a lot of pressure on the quarterback. You've seen uh, Terrence Smith come in there on the second play unblocked and make a big play on the, on the quarterback hurry. And there, Matthias Brown causes a fumble uh, on their quarterback. And Terrence Smith there again to pick it up. And if you remember back in fall camp, Terrence Smith was our leading scorer on defense, <laughs> scoring all the points and getting fumbles and interceptions. And here comes Matthias from the back. And, Knocking the ball loose on, on their red shirt or their true freshman quarterback getting his first start. And great way for our defensive football team to take the field and put pressure on them and give us a chance to get the football. We moved into the game, the third drive for the Pioneers offensively, and it's Cordell to Calvin Britt. They, you guys had chunks of yards all day. Great execution by our offensive football team. We were moving the chains, we were throwing the football how it needed to be thrown. And windy conditions, uh, again, we, I think we had nine drops on the day, which is. Uh, unexcusable for our, our kids at receiver, but just trying hard. It wasn't anything intentional, and uh, offensive line did a great job. I, I think uh, it was one of the better games we played as an offensive front. Uh, unfortunately, we just couldn't get bought the ball in the end zone and uh, kept coming up with miscues here and there, and uh, we got we got to find a way to eliminate those, and I'm sure that we will. Third down and long, the Pioneers in the first half converted 50%, 6 of, tw uh, six of 12 on third downs in the first half, and here's Corey Russell. No, it's Bo Cordell. I'll tell you what, great execution by Bo. Great job buying time, finding Deontay. I thought Deontay was going to score here and, and thought he still should have scored. And then, unfortunately, we get down here and we cannot punch it in. We're trying like crazy and just can't get the ball in the end zone. But here's a shot of, of Bo scrambling. And obviously, he's getting so much better at, at these kind of things. Bo's not the best, uh, most talented athletically, but he's good enough to get it done for us. And hits Deontay, a big, big third down here. And, uh, Deontay gets it down to the one or the two yard line and uh, we get out there and we actually have an opening over here and I think Brian if he just stays a little to the left there will score a touchdown but they did a good job they did a good job keeping us out of the end zone and preventing us from getting it in down there and we end up having to kick a field goal but I thought he was going to score here great tackle by their uh, linebacker flying out there on Marshall and Brian Marshall gives it everything he's got and he's not very big but he gives it everything he's got and uh, they do a good job covering our little pass route here and we have to send our kicker on the field and get three points but Great start by our offensive football team. They have three points, and defensively we stop them, so we're feeling okay about things. Nine plays, 55 yards, obviously, on first down and goal from about the two you'd like to score there. But again, Finley, I think, a good job tackling in the open field. The very next drive, Tenskillum leading it three to nothing. Zach Tate, true freshman quarterback, and he's been under pressure all day. Great job there by Matthias Brown, keeping his contain, which he's coached to do, and coming off the corner, uh, doing what we ask him to. And, they got a big tackle pulling out there. Matthias just gets a little piece of him, and then we got guys flying to the football, making plays, and that's what we're about defensively. Mason Fowler is in on that stop uh, defensively uh, on the sack, and obviously you see just a host of other guys. Um, Demetrius Traps, a uh, very dangerous running back as well. Second down and 21, third down and 17. Traps, 
uh, around the right end. I, you had their running game hemmed up the entire day. I'll tell you what we did a really good job of, Ron, was just containing, keeping outside pad free, keeping uh, having an opportunity if they tried to run it outside. We were, we were there preventing them from making a lot of big plays. and uh, We were putting pressure on their quarterback. and I think they were one of 14 on third down conversions for the day and just excited about how our defensive football team responded. We get a turnover on the first possession and make them punt on the second possession and just do a great job. Pioneers fortunate to keep the, the ball right there. Xavion Smith falling on it after it had hit uh, one of the gunners for the Pioneers. Um, slowing it down here just a little bit so you have a look at Deontay Gist across the middle and he took a vicious hit in traffic and just couldn't hold it for the Pioneers' first turnover of the day. Yeah, it was a, a good throw and uh, Deontay just trying to get a little extra yardage there. He's got to protect the football better. And, uh, we, we sure can't give him the ball, but uh, our defensive takes the field, and that's Rashawn Harris from over in Gaffney, South Carolina, coming up at free safety, making a play on their good running back. And up front, I thought our kids just played so hard. And, you know, right here it looks like they're going to get a bunch, and we end up uh, getting him on the ground and, and not giving them a lot. Uh, third and short, feeling good about what we're trying to get accomplished. And uh, our kids just uh, flying around. I think they actually jumped off sides and mm -hmm. back it up for five and uh, just playing hard. Yeah, third down and a yard. And Finley early, I think, shot themselves in the, in the foot. But... It creates a third down and six for Zach Tate. And again, it was just this type of day. Just he, as a true freshman, I'm sure you probably anticipated a little bit of that, but was put under pressure all day long. And then you start the very first play from the second quarter, and they tried the little quick kick, and David Little gets in on that. Well, David Little got the sack the play before on Zach Tate, and then David Little here, uh, they fly in there, and uh, they're trying to set up a quick kick by the quarterback, and David gets the uh, pressure on him and blocks the kick. and. If he could scoop and score, we'd have points right now. But uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. But great effort by our defensive football team. End of the first quarter, the Tusculum Pioneers have the lead. Back with much more of the Frankie DeBuck Show right after this. Greenville Federal Bank, proudly celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Greene County. Greenville Federal Bank is banking made easy. Visit online at greenvillefederalbank.com. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Laughlin Memorial Hospital provides innovative, caring, compassionate service to their patients and the community through integrity and honesty in all that they do. Laughlin Memorial Hospital in Greenville since 1939. Whatever you do, do it well. Your Greenville Light and Power System, an electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeVos Show, the Tusculum Pioneers versus the University of Finley. Tusculum has the early lead, but let's take a look at your second quarter highlights. Your second quarter highlights brought to you by Sodexo. Great effort again by our uh, entire football team there in that, in that opening quarter, and uh, especially defensively. I thought we were playing really, really well. and get the, we're, we're winning the field possession position right now. That was mm -hmm. the big thing I was worried about. And there's Bo hitting Michael Rodriguez, and here's Chad Coleman, a redshirt freshman from Anderson County, getting in on some action at running back, one of our bigger backs. And kids up front doing a great job um, protecting. Dor Dustin Moorhead was our player of the week and had a phenomenal, phenomenal game. And, your bow gets uh, gets plenty of time and then stands in there and takes a shot, but Deontay makes a phenomenal catch. We dropped some balls, but we also made some phenomenal catches throughout the day. Deontay gets a career day for him in receiving yards and also in receptions. As Bo Cordell continuing on this drive, the big problem was getting it into that 10-yard wide space at the end of the field. Yeah, we had some good things happen, and here's one of our drop passes on the day, and we've got to hang on to the football there. And we're going for it for the end zone shot, and they actually playing it pretty good. Uh, give them some credit here, and we, we take the field as our PAT field goal team, and Gareth Rollins has, uh, has had a great year so far. I wish he didn't get all the kicks, but he did a good job when he had opportunities too, and, and the wind was blowing. It was 25 mile an hour. You see the coaches on the sideline all bundled up, and it was the upper 50s, low 60s temperature there when we got started with 25 mile an hour winds and different environment for our football team, and we, here, we, we don't do a very good job tackling on our kickoff team. And, You've got to get better on that. 